Um, also, and, you, and again, no faults or whatever, because you even mentioned if I wasn't holding the video, the videotaping the child, I'd be doing something different. One of the things when, when children uh, can't communicate well, don't always believe in, but a lot of, um, most professionals believe to go to one language. So either pick your native tongue or the English for now to get them strong, to get a couple of words. Um, but also asking too many questions, and this will get explained more in the more than words kind of um, scenario. Um, if you're sitting there saying, oh, are you making asparagus? Are you cooking? Are you doing this? Are you... Yeah, John, what are you cooking? Where's the lobster? Wow, look at that. What you're doing is you're asking the child questions. What if he doesn't know what asparagus is? What if he does? Um, to get children to start talking, it's kind of um, recommended. And again, it's, it's what I used on my kids. What's going to work for him might be completely different. Repeat what he would say. I'm cooking. Mommy, I'm making you. But try and make it like a, just a two-word sentence. I'm cooking. Please help. Um, it can be a lot of information to say, do you want to go outside? Is it nice outside? Um, do you want to go play in the yard? Do you want, you know, you're, you're, it's a lot of conceptual language. What if the child again doesn't know what outside is? Instead of just saying outside or go out or I'm going outside, uh, to give him more of a vocabulary of what he's doing instead of always asking a question. And again, I know you were holding the camera, so you're trying to get the eye attention, so you might not even be doing that as a regular basis. It's just, uh, a, again, a suggestion. So again, the, the hand to the knee things. Another thing is, is um, you can scoop a child here, scoop behind the neck, to this way to connect the head with the toes. So when they're coming up, see it's all together. A lot of kids start using the muscles too much, so they'll try and get around that way, but the head's stagnant or the head's on the ground, so they don't know how to do it that way. And to allow but that slowness for the breathing to kick in, but those are all things, like I said, a, a, a really good therapist or practitioner is someone that you're going to have to work with. Because, you, again, you see it here when the sitting. He normally will correct his posture when uh, we place a hand behind his back. It's like this. If I'm like this, and I also say this all the time, spend a couple of minutes, do the positions your child's doing. Feel what it's like to go like this, to even play, for me to talk and to breathe. Is so much more work versus being here or being here or being here. You know, variation is the key, all of these different things, because that's when you can start again crossing the midline. It's the vestibular system, the balance, and the breathing. The child's worried about their breathing, their balance, or their heart. Again, they're not going to worry about the heart when they're that young. But those are the three key things. The brain has concerns over those functions. It will protect those functions first. So that's where my, my pet peeve is the breathing and the vision. That, those are the things I'm from, you know, because of my son, and that's what I go after. If the breathing's off, if, if, you're, if a child's like this and you're hearing either the grunts, uh, 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 Again, the breathing's not a part of the movement. It's separate or they feel that that forces them to do something or something's of an effort. If this is an effort, when do you think they're going to talk or see or work the room? If I'm like this and I'm not breathing well, I certainly can't look around or the opportunity is not going to be as fluid. So, I know it's so hard for a lot of these kids because of the lack of the diagnosis, global developmental delays, and again, I'm not about the diagnosing. It's just that you can look into tools of vision and get help. You can look in tools of autism and get help. You can look into tools of cerebral palsy and get help. Um, 
to look to see how to help the child because again they're not going to start developing all like a well-made spaghetti soup you'll start seeing peaks here and they're still here and ebbs and flows and valleys and you know that's the way it is they came with manuals I wouldn't have a job but that they don't so I hope that helps but if there's more smoothness or flow and Jesse's little moves then, then these, the, the greater, the more sophisticated, the more complex move, they get so much easier to go around and to do all of these things. If I tightened my ab, I would just fall down. There's no way with tight abs could I get around. And a lot of people think that the low tone kids need more muscles. No, they need to use their skeletal system. They have to work on this because, again, if, if they're this and trying to to just stabilize themselves versus just being more present, being on the skeletal system, and that allows the brain to mature. I hope that helps. I do know someone in the Philippines. Um, I still don't even know if that's even fathomable or close to you. Um, but that you really need to start, um, and it is harder, I realize in some areas that even getting any kind of therapy, it's just it's a shame and we have to work together to help more of these kids around the world and um, if, I hope this helps and maybe even um, we can discuss it further but let me know uh, what your thoughts are based on this. Thanks Chai. Come on. Come on, Sing, go and play water. When I saw a shiny river and I splash like this